I'm just going to continue with the eternal security, 101 reasons that prove it. Um, I'm going to try to post the link for this in all the videos. Um, anyway, so people can just check it out themselves. But start with verse or um, number 21. The believer will in no wise be cast out, not under any circumstance. And this is one of my favorites. John 6, 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. That seems to be very straightforward and um, no way around it. Um, whoever comes to the Lord for salvation, they will be saved, um, which means it's a done deal. You can't be saved if there's a possibility of losing your salvation. Then it would never be a for sure thing. Um, but he says here in John 6, 37, I will in no wise cast them out, not under any circumstance. Number 22, Christ will not lose a single believer. John 6, 39, and this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. So all that the Father giveth the Lord, Jesus, he will lose nothing. Again, very straightforward. Losing salvation is not a possibility. 23. Christ will raise up the believer at the last day. John 6, 38-40. For I come down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. It says, I will raise him up at the last day, not, not you know, with uh, conditions. I will raise him up at the last day if he remains faithful, you know, if he uh, abstains from sin. No, it's a straightforward promise that he will have everlasting life and he will be raised at the last day. 24, whosoever eats the bread of life shall never die. John 6, 51, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Uh, so again, he shall live forever. Uh, 25, because the Holy Spirit abides in the believer forever. John 14, 16, and 17, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the word, world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth in you, and shall be in you. Whoever is born again, whoever is saved, is indwelt by the Holy Spirit, and it is forever. Uh... So, 26, because it is the Father's will that Christ should lose nothing, John 6, 39, and this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. 27, because one cannot be unborn, John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom. 28. The believer will follow Christ. John 10.27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Following Christ, can one be lost? Have we any right to add to God's word by inserting if to the passage? No, we don't. He says, clearly, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. 29. The believers continue with God. 1 John 2.19. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. And this means that they, they those who left, they completely forsook the, the faith, completely rejected the Lord uh, altogether. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, that they backslid for a while or that, you know, they they doubted or they lost faith for a while. It means they, they completely rejected this. That means that they were never saved to begin with. And number 30, because it is the believer's faith that overcomes the world. 1 John 5, 4, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith.
Okay, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.